Red Sox and Royals in Kansas City again tonight. Following our coverage of high school football last night, Red Sox beat the Royals 6-3. to Clay Buckholz pitched well into the seventh inning, allowed three runs. Two of them were earned as the Red Sox were able to build up a 4-2 to lead. And with a one-run ball game in the eighth, as the Royals made it 4-3, Jameel Weeks stepped up to the plate with a couple of men on and two out and delivered a two-run double for a 6-3 lead, and that's how it stayed. Edward Mujica came on the ninth for his fifth save of the year. Alan Webster gets a start against the Royals tonight in Kansas City. Meanwhile, the Pawtucket Red Sox lost in Durham to the Bulls 4-3. They took an early 2-0 lead with single runs in the second and third. Lieutenant pitcher Henry Owens ran into trouble in the bottom of the third, gave up three runs. The Bulls took a 4-2 lead into the top of the ninth. The Paw Sox, that's when they began their rally. After Garen Cicchini's RBI double made it 4-3, he was stranded at third base. The Bulls lead the series now two games to one. The best of five elimination game tonight. Pawtucket at Durham in game four of the Governor's Cup Championship. Hey, we've got high school football coverage on First Class Radio Sports tonight at Hopkinton. The Hiller is hosting Wayland. 6.45, 7 o'clock will be the kickoff. Tom Nappy and once again, Jared Aldi will provide our coverage on First Class Radio Sports and streaming online. And don't forget, listen in to the post-game show. We'll announce our Peppercini's player of the game. And on the Sports Buzz tomorrow morning, they'll ask you to call in with the name of that player of the game. First caller in wins a $25 gift card to Peppercini's. Elsewhere tonight, your Friday night lights, Franklin at Framingham, Medway at Watertown, East Bridgewater at Millis Hopedale, Valley Tech at Bay Path, Northbridge will play at Oakmont. From the soccer scoreboard yesterday, Milford beat Attleboro 4-3. Justin Borges had two goals, including the game winner. They're 3-0. and Bellingham got a late goal from Corey Dubay. They tied Westwood 1-1. Sutton beat Hopedale 4-0. Hopkins did over Medfield 1-0 on a Graham Kulig score that came in the very first minute of that game, and after that, there was no more scoring. Hollis didn't beat Millis 4-1 to as they go to 3-0 and on the season. In girls soccer, Attleboro shut out Milford 1-0. Lady Scarlet Hawks now 1-3. and Medway beat Ashland 3 nothing. Shannon Simmons and Emily Erdman with a goal and an assist each. They're perfect at 4-0. Medfield beat Hopkinton 2 nothing. as Madison Gershick had 11 saves for the Hillers in the loss. Millis, Holliston, a nothing nothing draw. Nipbuck beat Blackstone Mill Regional 4 nothing behind three goals from Gabby Carrero, and Douglas beat Whitensville Christian 5 to nothing. NFL Thursday night football game of the week went to the Baltimore Ravens. Despite all the controversy swirling around the team, Joe Flacco threw two touchdown tosses to tight end Owen Daniels. Bernard Pierce picked up the running attack, 96 yards in the ground. Baltimore beat Pittsburgh 26 to 6. Both teams now 1-1 one and one on the season. Patriots at Minnesota Sunday on WMRC, our 10 a.m. pregame 1 o'clock kickoff on First Class Radio Sports. The Pats at 0-1, the Vikings 1-0. It'll be a face-off between Tom Brady and Matt Castle, who backed up Tom Brady for four years. And that is all coming up on Sunday morning. And don't forget, we have Boston College football also. Tomorrow night, it will follow Red Sox baseball. Red Sox baseball at Kansas City with an earlier start tomorrow night. So we'll pick up a good portion of that Eagles game against USC right here on First Class Radio Sports and brought to you in part by Charles River Bank.